His name is synonymous with Sydney property, but now John McGrath's real estate empire is in trouble just four months after it was floated on the stock exchange. McGrath has requested a trading halt in its shares, adding to evidence that Sydney's property market will continue to slow. Antoinette Latouf has the story. It was advertised as a grand opening. It turned out to be anything but. Real estate agents stood waiting for potential buyers to visit their designer apartment showroom. Yes, we were expecting more. Um, look, there's a bit of um, a bit of uncertainty in the market. 26 inner city apartments are up for sale off the plan, and Paul Tut had expected to sell them all today. We've had a lot of people through here today that are sitting on the fence and waiting to see what happens. On Thursday, McGrath halted trading of its plummeting shares until it reviews its profit projections. McGrath's shares were floated last December at $2.10. They've been in steady decline ever since, closing on Thursday at $1.30. The structure of it you know, raised $140 odd million and, and most of that walked straight back out the door to the former owners. So you could ask a question about whether the business is now sufficiently funded to pursue it, its expansion plan. House price growth in Sydney has eased to its slowest pace in three years. And Sydney is home to the majority of McGrath's 80 offices and franchises. At this stage, it looks rather like a rerun of the 2003 boom and bust, uh, which took roughly 10 years to play out. Uh, and this time the mining boom is in reverse, so uh, all bets are off. John McGrath and his franchisees have remained tight-lipped, declining to comment during this trading halt. The last we heard from the celebrity agent was last month. In a statement, he said he won't be distracted by short-term price movements because property is a medium to long-term investment. The company had forecast a net profit of $15.3 million for the year to June. It'll be very difficult for it to meet its forecasts in a falling market. It was pretty clearly a, a bad idea. A criticism of a man who's built his career trading ideas. Antoinette Latouf, ABC News.